Well, I guess. Let's head to the Crystarium. Ooh, no mount. I mean, already though, I am very impressed. This is super cool. Also, interestingly, I feel like we're in an instance right now. Because there's normally enemies here, if I recall. So I wonder, I'm not going to try it because that's just wasting time, but I wonder what happens if you explore further. face in this city I know. Yours, I do not. This is the threshold of the Crystarium, stranger, and I am its gatekeeper. If you would enter, you will answer my questions. From where do you hail? Goldar? Ah! Ooh! Ah! Oh! Those are questions and a half! Ah! Uh, Ulta! That was what I first said in my head. Do you take me for a fool? No such place exists. Had you given me an honest answer, I would not have barred your way. We care little here for a person's place of origin. But instead, you chose concealment. And I will not suffer you to pass. That one had eaten. It must have gulped down the whole hand. Ring and all. Everything all right, Captain? Quite all right, my lord. Just a stray sin eater, and a weak one at that. I see. Weak or not, we should be on the lookout for more. But I see you've met my guest. I will escort him to the Crystarium myself. If you've no objections. Another of your mysterious friends, is it? I should have known. Very well. I'll inform the others your guest is to be given the run of the city. Pray forgive my less than cordial welcome. May the rest of your stay with us be a pleasant one. whatever questions you have when we are somewhere more private. Right then, before we plunge into the where's and wherefores, let me first thank you for answering my summons. I had intended to bring you directly to my personal quarters, but I fear my aim was slightly off. That you are still able to make the crossing unharmed is a great relief. 
And so, we come to the question of where. The realm in which you now find yourself belongs to one of the 13 reflections or shards, the first, to be precise, even if its inhabitants are largely oblivious to the fact. As to wherefore, having been awarded the rather grandiose title of Crystal Exarch, <laughs> I, in uh, my capacity as caretaker of the Crystarium, thought to seek the aid of you and your companions. Are the other scions here? Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused? Are the other scions here? That's my main co cause of worry. Ah, that is a question with no simple answer. But all shall be explained in due course, I promise you. Let us begin with the glaring skies up above. Here in the first, the world has been all but consumed by primordial light. It began a century ago, by this realm's reckoning. A luminous flood swallowing everything in its path. More than nine-tenths of this star was lost. And the fortunate few who survived are hounded by abominations born of that catastrophe even now. Sin Eaters, we call them. The creature you saw earlier was one such monstrosity. It was to save the first from this menace that I learned to bridge the rift between worlds. That I might call upon the aid of the greatest of heroes. Though it meant depriving a world of its champion, I had to try. For in saving the first, you would bring salvation to the source as well. Uh, but what manner of host harangues his guests in the middle of the road? Let us continue our talk within the Crystarium. Sanctuary for the living in a world all but resigned to oblivion. Each stone was laid with hope. The town itself a symbol, a monument to defiance in the face of death. No would-be hero could fail to answer its call. For who among us does not yearn for salvation? Novrant the Crystarium. Hey, players! Oh my god. Well, we're in a town. And here we are. Welcome, my friend, to the Crystarium. Complete. Do, do, do. Alright, no, inventory. So, 
Sure. So is this going to give me... Yeah, so it's going to be the job of that that you open with. So it's going to be a worse weapon than what I've got. Oh, wait. Uh, if I recall, a bunch of gear was added to the stores in Kugane. Is it going to be the weapon from that? Well, doesn't hurt to have a look. The deep gold claymore. That sounds like it might be. Oh, and when I show that, before I show this off, I forgot. Uh, just before I was recording, I happened to run into someone on the way into the building. So he was actually someone who had the full set of the Dark Knight outfit on. So I was like, oh, that's quite fitting. I'm sure we'll be seeing this eventually. Does look nice though. But yes, let's have a look what the Deep Gold Claim or at least is like. Ah, that's, that's actually a really nice model. It's one of the anima weapon models but without the flashiness. I actually do like that. Whatever. City of the First. Ah, it's going to give you a full set by the end of this initial quest line. Okay. The Crystal Exarch has a request for you. And what might that be? Now, a full and frank discussion in the privacy of my study would seem to be in order. But I think our conversation would be more meaning for you. Meaningful? Were you first to gain a firmer grasp of the situation here? To that end, I would like you to visit a few of the Crystarium civic leaders and glean something of this world and its predicament. As you can see, this path will take you directly to uh, the Etherite, a convenience with which I'm sure you are all are only too familiar. Being the ri rightful object of my summoning spell, you should, in theory, be able to reach all the way back along your etheric trail and find a connection in the source, believe it or not. I strongly suggest you complete this achievement before venturing any further. After you've done so, walk up the steps next to the etherite and head out to the left to arrive at the crystalline, crystalline mean. This is where you'll find our collective of crafters and gatherers, as well as the spokeswoman, Catlis, one of the people I should like you to meet. Another is Morin. To reach him and his cabinet of curiosity, you'll want to avoid the aforementioned steps. Take the exit on the left, and simply continue straight along and down until you come to the large doors at the end of the path. The third and final person I should like you to meet is Braggy, or Bragi, our man in charge of trade and distribution. He is to be found in the markets, which you can access from the opposite side of the Etherite Plaza. In seeking out each of my colleagues, you will visit the major districts of the city and hopefully gain a feel for the place. I trust my directions were simple enough? Crystal clear! <laughs> Very good. I concede. The layout of the Crystarium owes more to historic necessity than planning. But I'm sure you'll learn its twists and turns before long. In all honesty, the true challenge may be in finding the right way to approach its citizens. As you've discovered during your encounter with the captain, the people of this world are unaware of the existence of other stars and will struggle to accept the truth of your origin. 
That being the case, when they ask whence you hail, as they inevitably will, I suggest you claim to share a homeland with the Crystal Exarch. There is an unspoken rule here about peering too dip deeply into that particular mystery. When you finish making the rounds, pray me meet me in the large courtyard at the center of town. Until then! I'm like so excited about all this. Yeah, I, I'm really holding it back because, well, obvious reasons, but... And here we have the Rotunda. Do we? Wait a minute, Rotunda. That sounds familiar. Anywho, let's go get us a Etherite. So I love how it kind of hand waved you. Like, yeah, uh, the ethereal trails, you can go home whenever you want. That's to... Wait, 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 so... Ah, oh, so you can just teleport through it. Ah. Oh. But yeah, they obviously didn't want you to be stuck here at the very start. By focusing your senses, you detect the flow of vastly distant currents of ether. You connect to these energies, your connection to these energies is faint but stable and should allow teleportation to etherites in the source. Oh, I should have checked. Clearly that's the one we just got. What happens if you teleport there before you attune to that? Ah oh, well, too late to worry about that now. Uh, yes. Hey, Anna! Alright, so let's do it in the order that they said. So we'll go up the stairs and to the left. Ah, I get you. Also, the music here is really nice. Uh, wait, which one did you want me to look? I'll go to you because you're right here. Oops, that's not the right place to go. Catlis! Rare to see a place so well stocked with goods, isn't it? But not here. I'm going to guess your new Voirfair city. Well, for what it's worth, you've chosen a fine sanctuary. The Exarch can throw up a barrier if the city has come knocking, so it's a damn sight safer in here than it is out there. Safer and more civilized, too. Thanks to us in the mean. We work together to procure materials and resources, and craft the goods which make city life possible. This is the place to visit if you need a coat mended or a kettle forged. Interestingly, there's an Allegan terminal in the background, and the Allegans didn't exist on the first. Just don't go thinking, it'll be handed to you on a plate like those Yule Moor and Leavat. Here in the Crystarium, we work for a living. Though I see you're no stranger to honest labor, you don't have that whiff of indolence about you like some folk I've met. Still, I can't quite pin down your profession. Uh, where is it you're from? Oh, one of the Exarch's countrymen, you say. I see. Well then, I'll work twice as hard to make you feel welcome. Our city wouldn't even exist if it weren't for him. And any friends of his is a any friend of his is a friend of ours. It's really qu quite incredible when you think about it. 
They say his grand magic summoned the Crystal Tower into existence. Pulled the entire thing out of thin air. It wasn't long before droves of refu refugees began congregating, congregating around its base, desperate for shelter after losing their homes to the flood. And that's how the Crystarium began. At the Exarch's invitation, buildings started going up, and with the help of some curious relics brought forth from the tower, the place gradually expanded into the thriving metropolis you see today. The city stood here for decades now, yet the eldest among us swear the Exarch looks the same as he did back then. He is indeed a man of many mysteries, but for all his secrecy, he has never yet let us down. So if he, and you, wish to remain silent about your shared homeland, then the folk here will respect your wish for privacy. I am, however, more than a little curious to see any crafting talents you might be hiding. If you've ought to contribute on that front, be sure to come back and visit once you've had a chance to settle in. Just ask, ask, just ask for Catalyst, and I'll find you a niche here in the crystal, crystalline me. You can help us keep the cogs and the city grease, greased and tanning. Your exchange with Catalyst has taught you about the life, about life in Crystalia, in the Crystalia. You know, English, not language easy speak of the. Huh. So, yeah, oh, that makes sense, I guess. She said, with the curi curious devices brought forth. So, the tower was made by the Allegans. So, of course, inside of it would be a load of uh, Allegan technology. Makes sense to me. 